Hey, afternoon everybody and I'm going to do something slightly different today final test ride of this this is the final ride before the customer comes in about 40 minutes time to pick this bike up my quick final ride test and for a change just to show the quality now normally I have the GoPro down the front the GoPro is running but I've not got my radio mic on I want to do something totally different and show you the quality between the GoPro 10 and the Drift now I normally run two cameras Drift is my backup camera in case worst case scenario the GoPro doesn't record but it always does but I thought we'll do something different we'll do it drift at the style and just show you the quality compared to my old stuff that I used to do on the GoPro so we're trying it something slightly different a little bit of uh, drift footage today because it's damn sight quick I flick the drift on the mics all detached I haven't got to wire up all my radio mics I'm currently awaiting my road mounting kit which means that I can put my transmitter with the mic on the side of the crash helmet I haven't got a faff about putting mic up under my lapel bit of velcro to hold my purple panda wire it into the helmet someone's told me yep so thanks very much for that Howie 702 it showed me that little idea of buying the road mount that fits on the crash helmet so something I will be doing in the next week another gizmo to attach to the helmet I'm going to start looking like a one of these starfighter pilots or stormship trooper or whatever they call them Star Wars jobby reference to rhythmic biker there now if you caught up with the uh, the ride that we did Sunday went out we met up with Simon GTR 1400 boat and biker bird turned up but I'd already gone unfortunately but uh, Uncle Red was there with the Vulcan and of course we had Boo Rider turn up Maynard turned up as well on his BMW and good old Dave the sidecar dog he turned up as well so a good bit of fun had by all on Sunday we are out again this Sunday super sausage ride but slightly different I'm gonna have a pillion yes Bex from the office has said oh I don't like sitting on Harley it's uncomfortable all right sat on mine and she went oh this is comfortable I wouldn't mind a ride on this take you out Sunday then so she's coming out with me on Sunday and we're going to have a ride me and Bex are going out we're going to pilly up and have a ride to the super sausage for a burger and a cup of coffee she gets to meet the crew which will be a little bit of fun for her see all the bikes MCN and the one I'm going to do while I'm obviously riding this bike waffle on we're going to do MCN this year all right, it starts on the Friday finishes the following week we are going to be doing the Sunday so we're going to have a, a meet up on the Sunday I believe we're all riding up on bikes Phil may come up in his uh, Land Rover and follow us up but I think most of the pack are going to be doing let me just adjust this mirror a bit there we go welcome Phil's going to be coming up on the Land Rover probably, but all the boys are going to be riding up on their bikes. It's about 40 minutes, so we're going to ride up as a nice little pack, have a little bit of fun. And do the obligatory walk around the bike show. Now I've got some complimentary bits and pieces from certain people. Thank you very much. You know who you are that have sent me stuff. the usual plod around town just put a few extra miles on the bike I love going down these back roads as well because you tend to spot all the bell ends of the week twenty mile an hour road this is and I'm doing just slightly over can't see why it's twenty mile an hour because everyone bombs along here at thirty cars stuck out in the middle of the road for cyclists as well as for motorcycle riders but these little uh, Diablos that's great you step off the uh, curb bluff don't worry about me bringing all these new rules for pedestrians and 
it gives me a chance to check the brakes out on this, make sure it pulls up. Yes, it does. It is lovely. So that's what's coming. Oh, last minute indication. That's why I hang back. Now I'm going to roll through a, a video that i done, oh god, quite a while ago. I think it is on the Red Bomb Challenge. I did actually take the end part of it off and uh, mark it up as Bell End of the Week. And, as usual, you had the haters. Oh, you could have, uh, no need for you to do that amount of Red Bombs. Yes, there probably wasn't, but... Roll the video slow. I'm coming round the corner. She's already seen me. And the wheels are still rolling, so she tightens the gap up for me. Hence the first rev bomb. Hand raise in the air. Going past the second rev bomb. She's starting to move again. Simple reason being, she is on her damn phone. It is a no right turn at that junction. So that's two no-nos, one on the phone, two, it's a no right turn there. And you should, certainly shouldn't be straddling the centre divider on one lane. Also, you can't see my mirrors, but I've got an Audi barrelling in behind me that is very close to my bumper and I am certainly not going to stop and become a sandwich between two cars. Hence my load of red bombs. Of course, oh, if you'd have waited five seconds, you could have waited for the lights to change colour, yeah. You could have done. But why do you need to straddle the road just to claim that you're going into that inside lane? She wasn't going into my lane, she was going into the very end lane, which is two lanes across to turn bloody left. So, hence the reason, the red bomb. But of course, the haters have come out, the trolls, unless you're actually riding, shut the hell up. Unless you ride a bike, shut the hell up. If you ride a 125 and you've never been on a big bike, shut the hell up. I'm having a rant today. Now obviously uh, Rhythmic had this with Simon uh, GTR. Obviously Rhythmic had positioned himself and Simon had shot down the outside. It was very, very close, but obviously the boys know each other and it's a bit of banter, you know. He was like, Jesus Christ, and Simon did phone him and say, you're right, mate, yeah, that was a bit, sh a bit scary. But Simon, being an advanced rider, knew what was coming and put the foot down. Boom, get past him. If he'd have hit the brakes, he'd have been into him. So Simon, in his right mind, did the right thing. And Simon is a very experienced rider like me. Hence the reason he barreled past. But obviously I get the haters. Does it bother me? No, thanks for clicking on the video. Another like. Really don't, <laughs> don't bother me. But I do tend to have a whinge when people don't realise what the hell is going on. And a lot of these, uh, obviously, crash videos, or Motor Madness, Dirt Bike Lunatic, all the boys like that, tend to share up everyone else's videos. Unless you're a bike rider, in that situation, and apart from, obviously, people filtering at high speed, wheeling, or doing something stupid, most of it is because idiot car drivers don't see you. Most of us bikers ride like every car driver is out to kill you. 90% of them are. So hence the little rant that I did about the car driver. And that'd be the reason why. Now someone actually came to my defence and said, knowing Revbomb, he's a very, very safe driver. Yes, I am. I tend to be a bit of a poddler. You know, I don't... Apart from when I'm on the A5, open it up a little bit, but I just tend to poddle around at the national limits. So 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, etc, etc. What I don't tend to do is hack around everywhere at full speed. And I tend to be, if you watch the amount of shoulder checks I do in every damn video, that is the reason why. I tend to be very aware of what is around me. Now obviously I need to shift lanes here. And yes I do use mirrors, but I tend to do a lot of head movement. I tend to be checking what is going on and sticking myself out to the side or in the centre. So if a car does come in, I'm obviously checking the car behind me, making sure I've got enough distance. I have an escape lane there. I can get off to the side if I see something incoming a little bit too darn quick. But yes I am a safe rider. 
Yes, I'm a little bit slow as Andy GSA tractor calls me. I'm on Red Bull and it's slow GTR fog. But if you don't know what you're doing, don't go commenting on a video. You're doing it just for the clicks and the uh, the bite back doesn't bite back with me. I will put you in your place. And it just makes you look a bigger noob than everybody else. No, oh, I would have gone then. Burr, 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 burr. And I bet you he's going to cross into my lane, unless he's going straight on. No, he's going straight on. Just lane discipline, people. Right, I'm going to go back to the garage, have a cup of coffee, have a vape, get this bike nicely polished after I've ACF 50 it this morning. I just thought I'd try the drift out. We'll go back to go back to basics and do something different. I don't know even if the audio footage on this is going to be any good. In the words of Catherine Tate, bothered. If it works, it works. But we'll try out the difference of the drift to the uh, GoPro. So, as always, leave your comments down the bottom. Do certain things wind you up during the day? Do you get to? Uh, do you tend to bite back at people that don't know what they're doing and saying and uh, tend to put them in their place or do you just hit the block button and uh, get rid of them that way? What do you think of all these uh, channels that are sharing our footage? What do you think of that? Let us know in the comments below. <coughs> As always, like, subscribe, share and tell your friends. Livestream Friday is going to be interesting. We have a special guest coming, and I'm staying stum about that. Got another special guest coming on the show, and uh, it's going to be a big one. No, it's not Missenden Flyer. Thank God. We've got a little bit of a guest coming on the show on Friday. Stick around to see who it is. But until the next time, guys, be well, ride safe, and from RB and the big green meanie there, it's a big goodbye from me.